in this video I'm going to teach you how to disable gatekeeper on Mac Sequoia. It's a very easy process so make sure to follow along. In order to disable the gatekeeper on a macOS Sequoia device, you will have to use the terminal and type a specific line of code. Keep in mind that this process will also work for M1 and most other Mac models as well. So like I said before, open a new terminal window. So look for terminal and you will see this app here. Open it up. Once you are inside of terminal, what you have to type is this sudo spctl dash dash global dash disable. So I'm going to zoom in if you want to really note down what you have to type sudo space spctl space dash dash global dash disable. So once you type out this command and you press enter, you will be prompted to confirm with your password. And by doing this, it is going to disable Gatekeeper. One of the primary reasons on why people want to disable Gatekeeper is because this allows you to download applications from other sources besides the App Store and identify developers. Usually this option is going to be hidden. So by using this command line, you will restore this option under private and security. So if you go to the private and security menu after typing out that line in the terminal, you should be able to see the anywhere option available and it will be detected and chosen right away. And as you can imagine, you can also type enable instead of disable. If you type enable in place of disable, it is going to be the opposite effect. So it is going to set the option back to one of these two. These two App Store or App Store and identify developers. So choose whichever option you prefer. And before I end this video, I want to highlight something that I've noticed when I check the channel metrics. If this video or any other video that we've ever done helped you, consider subscribing. 83% of you are not subscribed. If you subscribe, you can help us from the channel achieve higher quality solutions and videos to your problems. So I highly count on your support. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.